Now on Sunrise, it's the last day of the great Minnesota get-together. We look at attendance so far and what it's meant for businesses outside the gates. Plus, the presidential campaigns heat up as summer winds down and new polls show some new names giving the front runners a challenge. Good Monday morning. Today is Saturday, September 7th. It's Labor Day. I'm Alicia Lewis. I'm Monday, I think, right? And it's Monday. What did I say? <laughs> it says Saturday in the prompter, though. I don't know why. Who wrote did that? Did I say Saturday? You did say it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. No, right. I didn't. Are you tricking me? No, I am serious. You did. But we're, we're, you know <laughs> what? We're still waking up, too. It's Labor Day. Nobody's watching. Okay. It says Monday. You Are you? No, it said Saturday up there, further up. It's oh, right. Okay. I'm He's right. right. See, All right. I thought you were pranking me on this morning. <laughs> no, it's not April Fool's. I need to drink my coffee. You hey, do the weather. Yeah, you know what? The humidity is going away as we speak this morning, so that's some good news. Jack Black's Goosebumps creeps into the number one spot at the box office. You met him. It yeah. Break, uh, 23 million. Wow. Uh, Matt Damon's The Martian continues to play strong, taking second place with over $21 million. Coming in third, Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks' real life Cold War drama, Bridge of Spies, with 15 million. And Corey, over the weekend, I actually saw The Martian. Oh, did you Brian see Brian and Sven. Uh, it was good. It was a little long. Wait I actually second. fell asleep for about five minutes during the movie. You fell asleep? I've never fallen asleep during the movie. It was a Friday night. I was tired. But it was a good movie still. Well, uh, just to go back there, you, Brian, and Sven, Yeah. We, you guys went to a movie. Oh, I had not uh, <laughs> didn't even call. Awkward. You didn't even text. <laughs> you didn't even. You got Cormac. It was what a, late. What a loser I am. <laughs> We're sorry. Sven, Next time. Sven, what are you, <laughs> Brian, you guys? Sorry. Uh, Alicia didn't want to include you. No, yes, that's not. not. <laughs> we're supposed to talk about that. Sorry, yeah, sorry. We're to He's on to us. <laughs> the Twin Cities 10 Mile on Sunday. Oh, we right. just got our packets today. Yeah, we, we did. Our race numbers. We got awesome. all kinds of goodies inside our packets, including the brandana. The brandana. Which there's multiple ways you can wear it. Yes. It's for the race. And we're going to demonstrate how to do one of them on you right now. Yep. Okay. So this one is um, the, the, what is it called? We the tried cap? this in the newsroom earlier. Yeah. So, so we're going to throw this on you. Okay. Look at this. looks so nice. Okay. And then you twist it. Oh, hold is it, it inside down. inside out? Yeah, hold you, it down. You need a partner with this. Oh, because I it's see. Twist. Challenging. We do a There's like twist. eight different styles. This one's and my personal this, favorite. Guys. And then we just pull this down. And you oh, make no. a little. I had B. Like Chang helping me earlier. It was a lot easier. <laughs> no, there we go. See, it's working. There you go. Cool. There you this go. This is one of the fashions for the marathon 10 mile. Here. I got you. I'll make sure you look good. I like it. There you go. It keeps good. you warm because it's supposed yeah. to be a little chilly in the morning. Yeah, it's going to be a little cool. You're so ready to bad. run. Yeah. We love it. Big that Virginia Brophy Ackman. Look at that. Uh, she's the executive director for the uh, the Twin Cities Marathon. I talked to her this morning. They're working hard, getting the, a lot getting of the people. race all ready to go. So it's going to be busy. Good luck to everybody that's fun. running out there this weekend. Hi, or say hi to mommy. <laughs> Got to go with the classic. <laughs> This is really therapeutic. It is. All right, break is over. You too. Okay. You say come. Oh, coming up on sunrise. All right. Groovy baby. That was you. Wonderful. 641. <laughs> this fall Friday, we're talking Oktoberfest. There are things that you guys can do out there. Celebrations happening all across the country. In fact, last weekend at the State Fairgrounds, we had the Twin Cities Oktoberfest. It was. It was a lot of fun, too. Melissa Collar and I went to it, learned all about the rich history. We even dressed the part. But, Corey, we couldn't leave Oktoberfest without learning all about the beer. What makes a good German beer? Well, a good German brewer makes a good German <laughs> beer, okay? And they've traditionally been lighter beers, but in America, we've actually come in to do a little heavier Oktoberfest beers. So we feature Summit beers here, excellent beers. They've got an outstanding Oktoberfest. We also have their Pilsner and various other beers available. Do you know why beer is so popular with Oktoberfest? It was the celebration of the wedding of Prince Ludwig and Therese in Germany, in Munich and it was a seven-day celebration. And what do you do when you celebrate? 
You drink? Yes, yeah. All right, yeah. so people wondering maybe why I'm holding this hammer. We're going to do a ceremonial keg tapping. Yes, the first keg here for Twin Cities Oktoberfest. You guys are going to tap it for us. All right, wow. looking forward to it. Now, the last Water. time I tapped a keg was uh, in college, so you're going to have to walk us through this. Well, this is not <laughs> the tradition. This is probably not the keg you Yeah, I didn't have a hammer tap. then. Now, you are going to tap this right in here. This is literally. And you tapping. are really going to have to <laughs> smack that, okay? I'm going to hit it hard. I hope yes, I won't you hit your are. Hand. I do too. Oh. <laughs> Eins, zwei, drei. Again, again. Going to take a beer? Whoa! Whoa! It's bad luck not to drink after you toast. You got to toast. <laughs> To say we didn't have fun would be an understatement yeah. there. So much fun. Uh, in fact, they actually gave me this sweet mug at Oktoberfest. In a lot of celebrations, you can find ancestorians. They talk about your family uh, history, your last name. And Lewis is actually uh, from Wales, so it's a Welsh last name. And that's the, my family's coat of arms in Colorado. She's Spanish, so she has a mug too. Uh, it's pretty cool, so you get to learn about yourself. The German heritage, so much fun. Sorry, I just is still thinking. The last time I tapped a keg was in college. Sorry, mom. She's just shaking her head at <laughs> home right now, that, like Ooh. that education money went to. <laughs> Man, Alicia, there are a ton of people here, including a ton of fair fashion, including us. That's right, and we are looking for the best looks that the state fair has to offer. So we're at the Care Barn, yep. and we're talking fair fashion people, and I'm pretty sure Jim Worthing here, Care employee. What are you? What are you rocking? I'm a fashion animal. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's Hawaiian shirts. As we say, some of us are just slaves to fashion. We spotted fanny packs, fair fanny packs. It's a fashion must. Yes, they are selling. What inspired your outfits today? Um, being able to find our kids and keep control of them. <laughs> and your husband? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy loves fried food. It says, um, never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups. Gentlemen with the corn cob t-shirts. Hey guys. Stop, please. They're so fashion forward. They're so fast. Hey guys. Are people getting a kick out of this when you're walking? I've had, uh, let's see, five people have said awesome or... Uh, I like your shirts, or I want one of those. Horny. Horny. That's good. Yeah. Horny. yeah, that's really good. What inspired this cowboy look today? Yeehaw! Uh, this is what I wear every day. <laughs> Naomi Campbell, move out of the way. Make way for this lady. We're blinded by this cane here. Yes. Look at this. Look and at they're this. real genuine fake diamonds. <laughs> We have to be a fashion statement. Even at the fair. Oh, yes. You people watch. You eat what you're not supposed to and feel crappy the next day, but it's okay. 